praise master, master Jesus. Jesus. Praise master Jesus. God, God is, is a, a good, good God. God. God is awesome God, y'all. Yes. This is Henry. I am Monique. She is my wife, y'all. That's my husband. And she had some dreams that I want her to share this dream. Hit it, baby. Yeah, so in the dream, uh, my cousin had invited me to a church. So I remember I got in the car, I drove. Um, I looked like I was on the GPS system. You know, how to get to the location of the church, and I got there, parked. Um, the place was packed full of cars, and um, my cousin was directing me um, to go into the church. For some reason, he didn't direct me to go into the front of the church. He directed me to go kind of near the side back of the church. So as I entered in, I seen a whole bunch of ministers of God, men of God, and it was a lot of them. And uh, as I was walking in, I began to see this woman on the stage. And she was stripping naked, just being acting like a stripper, naked. And uh, I was like so surprised to see this in church. And I was like, is anybody going to say anything? Don't people know that this is wrong? I was surprised. I was so surprised because these are ministers. They have the titles, these titles on their name, um, preachers, pastors, whatever. And nobody didn't say nothing about this woman on stage getting naked. And they were just watching it. And I was so disappointed. That was the end of that dream. And I, I know you're wondering who is that? Who, who, why? Why? Where's the name of this church, or what about the, those big names out there? What are their names? Right. Only if you have a spiritual eyes, you can understand this dream and see what God is saying from this dream. Right. <clears throat> In this time that we're living, big churches don't care anymore. They don't care about the uh, how how behaviors in the church. The behaviors I'm talking about is they are allowing anything, everything in the churches these days. Anything goes. Come as you are. Yeah. In other means, they use this "come as you are" and they wipe away holiness. They use this "come as you are." They're telling you, hey. Whatever that, what, whatsoever it is, God is merciful. And they are allowing all these atrocities, all yes. these abominations, all this evil in the church. Right. And if the leaders, because these are leaders, these are leaders. If the leaders is acting like this, then they don't care what their flock is doing, their congregation is doing, the people that look up to them. Uh, the kids that look up to them, the women, whatever, they don't care because they're in sin. So why would they in encourage you to to uh, to live holy? Even yeah. though, even what, though what will make they them, might fake it. <laughs> what will make them to encourage you to yes. live holy? There is, they always, none of them are out there want to make you <clears throat> or, or to stamp it every service to come to God, to repent, re live a righteous life. Right. Can they make it a mandatory? Uh, mandatory. Mandatory. That, that is going to be ev like every Sunday. Let's talk about this holiness. Yeah. And can they stand on that holiness? Right. Not just to preach. Not just to uh, 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 do, uh, do as I say, but not, not as I... As I do. <laughs> you know, yeah. and God is warning from this dream god is trying to speak to you and i all these people that are ready to speak out in what god is showing them speak out be not afraid of any man because you will answer in the judgment seat mm -hmm. if god is giving you the visions and dreams of a prophecy concerning a bishop concerning a, 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 whoever it is out there and God is speaking to you to go and rebuke 
-hmm. and you say, oh, it's not my business, touch not my anointed, you are walking against God. Mm -hmm. You got to obey God. You got to stand on God's word and speak to, says the Lord. Amen. If you missed out on a Sunday service, a pastor slept with the three, three of his kids. Mm -hmm. Three of his daughters. Three of his daughters. A pastor mm -hmm. with a big church, a big mm -hmm. members. And we can't we can't even show the video because uh, they showed his he they caught him in the act. Yeah. And in he was he was he was naked. So we couldn't. So I couldn't we couldn't the video, show yeah. the video. But if there is a lot of people that God revealed already, they would have rebuked this man long time ago. Speak out. Cry yes. on to cry to the wall. Because what what are the prophets doing? Yeah. What are the apostles doing? Uh what well, you know, that's why we need to I'm sorry to say it, we need prophets and we need apostles in the church. We need the fivefold ministry and we do. in the church. In the so uh because you're supposed to do your job in rebuking yeah. and seeing in the spiritual realm of what this what this leader is doing in your church. What the uh the, even the, the musicians doing in your church. Because musicians and singers that you have on your stage or your platform, Who are dead? yes, they need to live a holy life too. Because um, whatever they're doing, uh, you know, the congregation is is uh, taking it in, taking it all. If he's if he's a spirit, that everyone yes. has, is receiving the same spirit. Yes, whatsoever it is, that's why you see in the, in Christian community now a bunch of gay bunch of uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 bad things go happening, yeah. bad things because of the spirit that they are mm -hmm. receiving, pouring yes. out. You know, it's, it's crazy. And that led to the second dream that my wife is going to share. Yes. It leads to that because God is rebuking, saying something, warning, because warning comes before destruction. Angel, go ahead. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I had a dream about the man of God. Um, you know, when I had this dream, it was the next day of his funeral. It was the next day of his funeral. And uh, uh, condolences to his family, friends, family, loved ones. Um, they probably not going to want to watch this video, but um, I'm going to definitely show what the Lord showed me in a dream. Because uh, we as people of God got to know that whatever you do in the dark, yeah. God is seeing everything. Whether if it's dark, and it will come to the light eventually. Living yeah. or dying, it will come to the light. Okay, so this is the dream that I had about him. So I began to see, um, I was, I began to see a man. And he did have white on. He had white on from uh, his shirt and his pants. He had white on. And he looked at uh, very upset. And uh, he wanted the attention. He wanted the attention right. And he, yeah, he was upset, y'all. And uh, he said, I'm going to tell them. And I'm going to tell them today. Because people need to know who I am. And I, and I just seen him, it's like I was looking at him in front of him, and he said that. And I'm like, what is he talking about? I was like, he's upset. Oh, my God. Like, I was afraid. Like, what are you going to do? What is he going to do? So I began to see him start walking with, with just like, just walking. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to expose this. I'm going to expose this, right? So then he opened the doors to the church, and it was the funeral it was the funeral. And I seen everybody, you know, you know, if you know everybody have uh, black on. He didn't care about uh, the man's wife or nothing. He didn't care because this guy felt like he was the wife. And he was hurt because... Uh, this man, the man who passed away, I forgot what his name is. I call, I will call him uh, Bishop. I'm gonna call him Bishop. I don't know if he was a bishop, but he's the. I know him as a gospel artist. The, the song with Kerr Franklin, something about the name Jesus. But I'm gonna call him Bishop in his dream. 
So uh, he he was hurt that nobody knew that him and Bishop was in a relationship. He was hurt by that. He wanted everybody to know that he was hurt too because his lover passed away. He wanted everybody to know that. And he wanted that attention of G give me uh, my, give me my respect that I need here. And uh, the wife wasn't truly the wife. I'm the wife. That's how he, how he was feeling. So he walked in that door and he screamed in light and said, we were in a relationship together for years. And everybody was like, oh, my goodness. And I'm, I was even there. I was like, wow, he did this on his funeral. He did this on his funeral, y'all. He exposed everybody that him and Bishop has been in a relationship for years in hiding and in secret. And he had no regard for the wife, no regards for the wife. He didn't care if he was embarrassing her or nothing, just embarrassment that he put on the wife. It's just, it was just crazy. And that was the end of the dream. All I have to say is pray for the family. Yeah. But let the will of God be done. Because you don't know what is about to happen if somebody has already come out or if somebody is about to come out. Yeah. But this dream is a message from God. But keep this family up in prayers. This is all that we are talking about. When you know, when if you need a, a great legacy on earth, yeah. you need a great legacy on earth. You know, just uh, I like this because because when this thing, when this information or when this stuff gonna come out. Mm -hmm. Just I, all I'm gonna say, just pray for this family. That's all. For real, it, it's it's hurtful, and just we're just doing a, a a prophetic dream about it. So imagine if it when it comes to pass, yeah, it's horrible. Like people are gonna think that this video is horrible alone that we even uh, did the video right. Yeah. But imagine when the real news come out. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. We saying the same thing. Yeah. It just uh, you know God shared it. And we want to share it out. Too. Yeah. When God reveal things, we share it out there. We don't put time when it's going to come to pass, but we know God is speaking or God is saying something. But if you are somebody or minister or bishop or pastor, you are doing the same evil. You are sleeping around, cheating on your wife, cheating on your husband. You're doing all this evil, sleeping with uh, young boys, sleeping with young uh, women, Doing all this raping, whatsoever that you are doing out there, and you are a minister, time is now mm -hmm. for you to repent. But if not, 2001, you're not ready. 2001, mm -hmm. you are not ready to see what God mm -hmm. is about to bring upon these ministers that have misled the people of God. And who has failed God. Yeah. And I like how you said that this is, this is the thing. You need, if you want, it's good to have a good legacy. Yeah. And then when you die, it's good to keep that legacy. Yeah. Right? Y'all, people that want to get into this deep sin, sometimes you, when, you don't want to, when you pass away, that you embarrassing your whole family. Yeah. Like, remember the feelings of your family, your wife, your yeah. husband. Remember that, y'all. Remember your children and all of this. Like you don't want to leave with, put uh, with shame and disgrace upon your family, man. Yeah, let me tell. People think uh, the le all this legacy thing doesn't make no sense. Let mm -hmm. me tell you this a uh, true story. In my, in my hometown, the grand the grandfather, they did a lot of evil. They killed a lot of people, and now. The legacy people are remembering uh -huh. what their father, forefather did mm -hmm. or grandfather did. Yeah. In that family, it's so hard for the women to get married because people will tell them, "Hey, hey, you don't." The hey, reputation repet is bad. Yes. Hey, hey, don't. Hey, hey. 
You know, that's it, a good one. I mean, it's, it's real. It's real. Satan still know what you did. He will still bring it into light. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, Satan is stupid. The reason why Satan is stupid is you're going to serve Satan. And Satan will still expose you. Mm -hmm. That's how stupid Satan is. Right? Yeah. So forget about the word legacy. The reputation of yeah. your name and your family name. Very important. It's, yeah, it's very important. So Very important. Listen, we're going to end it here. Listen, yeah. if you haven't subscribed to Henry and Money, go ahead and do so. You know why? Because it will automatically make, make you a cool, you a cool Christian. Christian. It's cool Christians. We, we hang out over, over here. here. God bless you all. We love you guys. Bye, y'all. Bye.